Hello and welcome to the World Report. I'm your host Cyrus, joined by the comeback spot, Quan. How you feeling, man? Um, this is a good week, man. Well, it's it's a, it's a mixed week. My my PlayStation came in. You <laughs> still you still you still ain't add me yet. You told me to add you. You, you <laughs> add me back. You said send me your PlayStation. I did, and you never sent me the request. What are you talking about? I, I, I'll show you. I'm gonna send you a picture after this, but okay. I definitely sent it. I, I sent it I, as soon as you sent it. The two the two requests that I have are some randoms I met on Destiny. I'm waiting for the Quan request. Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> um, besides that, uh, I had an interesting Tuesday. Um, I got ran up on by the police because someone called the police on me. They yeah, said I, uh, I they said I kidnapped my own daughters. <laughs> so that was <laughs> that was wild. Um, we, I wouldn't I, even mad. I, I wouldn't I'm, even mad the police though. Uh, uh, I'm glad that you are alive with us today, <laughs> nigga. Me too. <laughs> but the uh, thing was the wild part though was that like first two cars came up. I was like okay, and then two more cars came up like a minute later. I was like oh shit, this is this might be serious. But <laughs> you were just like damn, I, somebody's I in like, trouble. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, damn. <laughs> But um, everything was all good. Shout out to whoever called the police on me. I don't know who it was. Oh lord, they wilding. But they they, pro- they probably saw uh, saw you at the school and was just like, look at him. I was, I was at the Having... park. I think, yeah, that's the crazy oh. part. Me and my daughter, we walked to the park, <laughs> and oh, then we man. left the park. We were at the park for like five minutes. We left the park. I was like, I swear, I was like maybe like a hundred yards, like a football field away from my apartment. <laughs> And the cops just pulled up. I'm like, yo, what is going on, bro? It, it, but, it, can, it can happen to any of us, bro. Dog, I ain't lying. It could really happen. I'm just walking down the street. Be uh, careful out here, man. Hey, man. Uh, uh, I'm glad you, you're here with us. Uh, what's up, what's it, up with you? You got a fresh cut? Fr- fresh cut. Okay. New mic. New mic. <laughs> Talk about it. Uh, what is this? New sound card. Talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know if the people can hear that yet. Cause I can't, but I, I got a whole bunch of funny noises on here. Um, and tomorrow I will be getting my first shot of the vaccination. So let's go oh. forward to that. What's, and, the, what's, the, what's the rules out in Florida? Oh, cause, oh yeah. Yeah. I um, can't get mine until like next month. I mean, next, yeah, next month. Since vaccine, you know, since Florida kind of got the vaccines late, yeah. you know, a lot of people were ahead and they could get the vaccine without the paperwork, you know, the gotcha. extreme risk paper. Um, yeah. I got the email two days ago from uh, the place that I normally get all my checkups and stuff. And they were just like, hey, man, you don't need paperwork now. I said, (laughs) say less. Signed up in like five minutes. Uh, So I will be getting vaccinated and I won't be working this whole week. So it'll be sick. Uh, I don't don't go back till Monday. We'll see how it goes from there. But um, this is a show where we talk about NXT and AEW. Um, As far as news goes, it's not really much, but let, let's just dive into the trenches real quick. Um, Danny Birch suffers from a separated shoulder, and the NXT tag titles are vacated. That sucks, man. I I wasn't really a big fan of uh, Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch because, you know, they did have to take a sideline at some point during the Dusty Classic, and they were trying to, like, just, you know, like, finally work to make themselves, like, seem like credible contenders. Um before uh take over and then this happens i i thought them getting the big win over balor and uh carrying cross with oni lork uh oni lork and pinning fit balor that doesn't happen often um kind of just sucks you know um it's disappointing uh prayers for danny birch hopefully it's not you know i mean for any longer he needs to be i just mm-hmm. need him to be healthy um I wanted those tag belts off of uh, Orny, but not like this. Break, But I didn't, I didn't want it to be this way. Yeah. Um, um it sucks, man. I, 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 I don't want to be green, but the match that we're getting in a re- I, as a replacement is it, it, about to really blow that shit out of the water. <laughs> That's um, about to go crazy. Hey, man. Uh, God. Speedy recovery, Godspeed, all that. Get well soon. You know, it's rare nowadays where titles actually get vacated in NXT. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in this rare occasion. Um, they had to do it. It is what it is. 
Uh, make me wonder what they're gonna do with Oni going forward. Is he back? Is he back to two hundred five live? Um, nigga. I would say do? I would say I wouldn't worry about it until after Takeover. Um, yeah. Right now, right now it would be too uh, too rough to like slot him into any spot unless him and Pete Dunn want to come together and be a tag team. May maybe after Takeover he can like entertain being in the North American title scene. You know, just something. I, I hope yeah. he doesn't go back to two hundred five live. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Have you seen the top fifty women list? Um, eyes according to my timeline, I know exactly where Sasha Banks is. Besides <laughs> that, no, I don't know the whole thing. Um, just prior to this, we looked at you know, um, some of the current NXT crop that are actually made the list. Surprisingly, there was, I believe, six of them. Mm-hmm. I can name them real quick. Let's see. So, at number 50, we have Tony Storm, 48, Kaylee Ray, 46, Shotzi Blackheart. 44 Candice LeRae. Wait, wait. 40 the can the Candice shit. I'm just like, hey, let, let's dial it back real quick, man. <laughs> uh hey, I don't I don't know the criteria. I haven't watched it yet. Um <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 41 is Ember Moon. And surprisingly, 25 is Eo Shirai, which I thought was like she, she's pa- she passed some names that was like, wow, really? Like way out of pass, like Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, shit. Wait, where's Rhea Ripley on there? Is she above Eo? Did I you miss know? Rhea? I might have missed Rhea Ripley. Well, Rhea, Rhea's uh, now I, I didn't look, I didn't look for. I didn't look for. Yeah, because oh, when, <laughs> when I asked, I was just like, "Who? Uh, what NXT women are on there?" But since uh, yeah, let me see, I'm gonna go look it up real quick. Since she got the call up, you know, we we forgot about her. She, she, she's out of our right. domain of talking. I don't even care anymore. She's dead to me. Actually, no, she's <laughs> above. She's um, she's 21. She's above Io Shirai. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, She's right above Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon and Michelle McCool. I think Stephanie McMahon is way too high on that fucking list. Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie being 23 is wild. That's that, really that, funny. That shit is too <laughs> funny to me, bro. Let, let's, dial, let's dial it back real quick. <laughs> but um, do any of those um, numbers surprise you in those, in those spots? Uh, the Candlest the Array thing still surprise, uh, surprises me because she doesn't she doesn't have any NXT gold to her name. She's not a t- she's not a tag team champion yet. I understand like her role on NXT, but just like in terms of like what she has accomplished in accolades, she yeah. kind of has none. While Tony Storm is the first UK women's champion, Kaylee Ray is the longest uh, UK champion, Ember Moon, former NXT champion, and now NXT first tag team tag, champion, first ever Shotzi, first ever tag team champion. Mm-hmm. So Io e- Shirai, current t- current NXT champion. The the thing that Candice basically has is that she won War Games in a two in a two v five, which I guess, but that's no title reign. She had that banger too. Um, the, was it Dakota. The the, the ba- bangers don't count. The, <laughs> bangers don't count. See, that's the problem. I don't know the criteria for I, what this even I, is. I, I definitely think it's accolade. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I might watch it. Have you switched the Peacock yet, bro? Uh, no, I haven't switched switched the Peacock. Everybody says that the UI is terrible. It's we, fucking atrocious. You, you're gonna have to break it down for me because uh, I, I I just see everybody say it, but nobody's saying like what is bad about it. I can't find anything. I downloaded it on the PS4. I mean the PS5 app. It's slow. Like okay. it didn't have. Yeah, uh, I can't. I, I can't find stuff. Supposedly, some things are getting edited. I don't know exactly what. I, I know. I I know two particular things that have been edited. People keep talking about it. I don't uh, like. One one is Vince McMahon saying nigga, which I don't know. I want to <laughs> know why everybody wants to hear Vince McMahon say nigga so bad. Yeah, and uh, what is it? All all the blackface. Yeah, and all the blackface. Uh, why why do we need to preserve that? Like, just go on Daily Motion. <laughs> what do we? What do you mean we can't see blackface? Like, why, why are you so upset about? I don't know, but um. Supposedly headshot, like they did, like the uh, chair shots to the head. They kind of edited. I don't know if that's true or not. That's a lot of the, edit. They they used to they used to do that, like on the YouTube videos, like when they would drop them, they would like oh, have yeah, like. Yeah. But um, yeah. Well, I mean, also a lot of the content is not there. Like there's barely anything. It's like it's like the, it's like bare minimum, which I understood. It's, you know, yeah. transferring, mm-hmm. you know, all that content for 40 years 
worth yeah. of content for multiple promotions. It'll just take their time. But like, I don't but, use my uh, network often. So all the people being like, oh, fuck, I can't see Mania 6. Like, yeah, you wasn't I, watching that. Never on a <laughs> random day. I was just like, yo, let me just turn on a WrestleMania. Yeah. It, it, um, it just never happened. But, but yeah, I mean, uh, like, I'm going to have to deal with it at some point. Honestly, I was doing a whole like uh, uh, WCW Nitro. Uh, watch did fuck, that I had, but did I hadn't seen that. Yeah, but I, I kind of stopped doing that after a while. Anyway, I have so much other stuff I had to watch. <laughs> so like, it is what it is. I'm sure I'll get back to it. But yeah, I mean, we got to deal with Peacock for you know next coming years, and then hopefully, you know, they kind of fix the king. Also, mm-hmm. I forgot they don't have the um the little like uh little like. Um, the the bookmarks for each match. Oh, they don't have the timestamps yet. That's stupid. Damn. Like that's that's okay. That stressed me out. That's what I was really I, upset about. I va- I value timestamps. Yeah, so that, that's that, very that, that kind of pissed me off. That, that's the other thing. I'm I'm not hitting up Peacock until you know Necessary. it's it, it, it's time. Yeah. And I'm gonna need all you fuckers to stop calling it the cock. Stop it. Hey. Stop saying I'm about to hop on the cock. Yeah, wow. Watch your wrestling. <laughs> Stop wow. saying that. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers bugging, man. Stop calling it that. I think uh <laughs> what Mio said in the group chat, he was just like, man, y'all get y'all gave up on the network. Y'all hopped on the cock too fast. <laughs> I said, all right, man. <laughs> Stop calling it the cock, bro. But uh spe- speaking of mania. AEW is going to have a house show uh, WrestleMania weekend. It's going to be non-televised, so God knows what's going to be on the card. I hope it's nothing, you know, I really, like, I really want to see. Uh, people are pulling up the quote where Cody was just like, no, nah, I don't want to piggyback off WrestleMania. And now, you know, it's just coming back and, you know. There's, uh, all, there's uh, always uh, a tweet, bro. There's uh, always uh, a tweet. Egg on his face. There's always a tweet. It always comes back to them. And I think that it is what it is. You know, like it's smart promotion to just be where WrestleMania is or yeah. at. And if they're not in Tampa and they're still running in Jacksonville, I think that's kind of just like nonsensical because. What? If I'm in Tampa how, how for WrestleMania. How far is that? What's the distance between Jacksonville and Tampa? So if I'm in Tampa for WrestleMania, yeah. I am not driving two hours to Jacksonville for AEW. And then driving two hours back to uh to Tampa so I can go see the other shows that are happening Mania Weekend. I bet you somebody will. You hey man, all all <laughs> power to you. I think the only time that I ever took a trek like that is for, you know, WrestleMania weekend when I was in New Orleans. Uh, yeah, I was staying with my friends in Baton Rouge, so okay. it was like about yes, an Liz. hour, like from show to show. Yeah, so, but it it is what it is. I, I think it's kind of insane. But the people that are trying to like defend the quote, I think that's really odd. Like they're saying that Friday is no longer a weekend. Yeah, I saw I saw that. <laughs> Look, man, you know you know Cody's their daddy. That, that, they love that I, man. It, it, it not, there's nothing they can say. You can I, say. I, I, was, I was just like, y'all fuckers are insane. Like, this is how hard we're moving the goalposts. Like, what, what is it? The, uh, we changed the, the definition Ju- of a weekend. The Julian season calendar is being shifted for AEW, bro. Hey, like, um, I don't know. But I, I think um, this is a good. I think I was at first. I was like, why would they do a house show in a pandemic? But I think this is probably a really good time because you're you're like a. Uh, it's a good test to see, you know, mm-hmm. what can, what can they can get away with for house shows, what kind of attendance they'd have. Yeah, now now that the world is like yes. back to normal. I'm not even so like I'm not even mad at the idea. It was only a matter of time before they would start doing touring and house shows. Yeah, it, it is. So, like they are they already have like mad cool. people, more mad people in attendance already. Yeah. So it is what it is for that uh for that part. But that is it for in the trenches. Now we're gonna get into NXT. My God. You talked about you talked about sending a message earlier tonight. So I'm looking at the document and I realized that I spelled Oni Lorkin wrong. You said one one <laughs> I forgot the why. But uh Oni Lorkin versus Karrion Cross, uh a really good match. Oni 
only shows that he is still a really good singles competitor. He had Cross bruised up yeah. after the match, like uh, just like looking like a plum. It was, was kind of crazy. Well, one thing about um, Oni is he's gonna hit hard. Mm -hmm. His his, his matches they hit hard. No matter who, no yeah. matter where he's out in the car, what he's doing, the, he's like, just gonna you, you really beat the shit out. Fight. You, <laughs> you know what? You know what I would love to see. Now I'm thinking about it. I would love. To, I mean, I don't know how it worked with the size difference, but him and Sheamus. I think wow, what, what, I think Oni what, what, and Sheamus what, what, would go crazy. I, I I was thinking when I was watching the match, I was just like, man, I would love to see him against Walter, Timothy Thatcher. Uh, any any main roster people? Uh, dang, man! Sometimes I forget because I, I I don't really you watch. Know, you don't really don't watch. I I really that. don't. I watch it via uh, I watch it via TL. Um, um yeah, remember when Oni was on SmackDown for like that one week for no reason? <laughs> I think he like wrestled like AJ or something. It was more red. It, you know, remember like 2016 SmackDown when they were just doing whatever they wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, they had they had they had the headbangers on there for like three weeks for no yeah. reason. So odd, so odd. Remember could that? Call, Out of nowhere, could have called, called up any NXT tag team, and they said no. We need the headbangers. <laughs> we need the headbangers. <laughs> it, it was funny. They, they didn't even announce it. It just had, it like happened on the show. Like, oh, tonight we got the headbangers versus the New Day. I was like, what? Are you, like what? <laughs> Where yeah, did this come from? <laughs> so random. <laughs> It it, oh, it is what it is, man. <laughs> but back to Oni. Yeah, back to Oni. I I do like this match a lot. Uh, Karrion Cross gets the win, cuts a pretty decent promo on Finn Balor, and then Finn Balor comes out and just ruins all the good graces that that promo had, in my opinion. Uh, he's improved so much in the oh. promo work. It's like night and day compared to you know where he was. Like three years, old, uh, ago. Two, two, three three years ago, yeah. Like he's he's on, he's in his bag right now. I don't know if he's working with somebody on his promos or if this is all him. But whatever he's doing, I say keep going because he's in his yeah. bag right now. I, I keep singing the praises of Finn Balor every week on here, but like I really can't see anybody who's better than him right now uh, at all. Besides, Shing, bes besides Shingo Takagi, but besides that. Hey, if we had to do like a best in the world list, um, sorry for people that watch stuff that you know unnecessarily I don't want. Like, if, if I say names, please don't add me on Twitter and be like, "Hey, man, you missed out on this dude from Dragon Gate." Like, sorry, yeah. I'm not watching Dragon Gate. My bad, bro. But uh, Shingo Takagi, Finn Balor, Phoenix are definitely in like the top three male wrestlers going on, uh, in my opinion. I. Her. I know you don't watch Raw, but um, I got to give credit to Sheamus, man. Sheamus, Sheamus, the last like three months, I don't think he's missed. I I, I like Sheamus. I like Drew McIntyre. I think they're still cool. Um, what is it? Daniel Bryan, of uh, course, uh, cool of stuff. Course. Randy Orton's also been in his. Well, he's been in his bag, and you know the Alexa Bliss and the Fiend stuff. It's uh, it, it it's mixed, but I still think that. That doesn't gloss over the amazing 2020 that he had, you know, yeah, having he's, he's, the best wrestling match ever. <laughs> Still greatest. crazy like, that they like, like, was it the best or was it the greatest? Uh, the greatest, say? the greatest. Yo, that, WWE marketing team is disgusting. They are they are sick. They, people. they, they are foul for saying yeah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> These people are sick. Well, uh, yeah, Finn Balor is great. Definitely barred him up. Um, I like that he sprinkled like a demon into what he said. Yeah. and running off emotion i don't think personally i don't think it alludes to the demon i think it alludes to that he doesn't truly need to be he doesn't need the demon uh and he was just like beat him regular he says that carrying cross i he said that he's gonna exploit his emotions and that makes me worry about what the hell he's about to do the scarlet <laughs> in the weeks to come hey. Oh. On the show. <laughs> on the show. <laughs> well, you know, I think you're down. Hey, man. Hey. hey. Hide your girl. <laughs> if, if this was 2015, I would have been like, hide your girl. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, hide your wifey, man. <laughs> but uh, moving on, we got Jordan Devlin versus Kushida, which it ended how I thought it... Well, I knew it was going to be a funky finish, but it was a little too it, it was a little too clean. I needed that I needed the finish to be a little more dirty, bro. What are they doing with Kushida, man? Like I know he got his like his little come up inch. We did a little front flip on Legato del Fantasma, but like what what are we doing? 
I, 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 it's been, it's, I don't it's get it. Two, it's been two years. What are we doing, yeah. guys? Now, now, after he didn't win it from Gargano, uh, now we have to start asking quite like, what, what the fuck is really going on? Yeah, cause I really, like, I really thought that was it. And the wild part with Kushida is like he'll be, he'll have a match and then be gone for like three weeks, and then have right. a match again. It's uh, really weird. Like they have no idea what to do with this guy. And we, we're going to talk about the North American title stuff later, but. You know, he faced Gargano, lost, and then they moved to uh, Loomis. And then if Loomis doesn't win the Battle Royale, then what was the last, like, three weeks for? Or, you know, if he doesn't win that match, then what was, like, the last three weeks for? You know? Yeah. So it, it's it's going to be some weird stuff. But That's I weird. thought the match with uh, Kushida and Jordan Devlin was really good. Yeah, it was a fun match. And then, you know, after that, big surprise. Yeah. You know, it's funny <laughs> because... We know Shawn Michaels is there every week. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but I still got mad excited when I heard this. So I was like, "Oh shit, Shawn Michaels!" <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I was studying mid this, but as soon as I heard, ah, ah, I was just like, "Whoa, <laughs> oh. hey, bro!" <laughs> I was just like, "Oh shit, it's fucking lit, bro!" And Triple H, and Triple H loved doing the promo without saying anything. Promo where he mm-hmm. like, remember like when he, uh, him and Triple H, I mean, when him and Undertaker had the uh, the match and all they did was like, look at the sign. And he, like they both looked yeah, at the, the sign. No, no words needed. Like, no words needed. I saw it. Actions, brought... actions speak louder than words. It was, so, it, it was so clear. Perfect. Let me grab the ladder. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know the history of title unifications. Let's play them together. Because <laughs> yeah. I was surprised. I thought, I was thinking that the tag team match at TakeOver was going to be a ladder match. I was like, why wouldn't it Ooh, be a ladder that match? That would have been crazy. But when they showed the graphic, I was like, why wouldn't that be a ladder match? And they're like, and then when they did that, like, oh, okay, that's why they did the ladder match. Got it. Yeah, I I, I think it was perfect. Just him coming out, pull, pulling out the ladder and then just pointing up that that's really and everybody knew what that meant. That's all. They, that's all they needed to be. Uh, oh, hey, amen. Santos Escobar is our Cruiserweight champion. So hopefully. My champion. Yeah, but. If if he doesn't win, let's pray to God that he's like a North American champion in the future because we we can't have him pigeonholed with the Kurt Stallions and the uh, and the Tony Nice. You feel me? Ain't, ain't nope. shit happening on Two Hundred Five Live, man. Damn. <laughs> Am I wrong? Damn. I, nah, am I you're wrong? Right. You're right, man. You're right. If I had a if I had a flex bomb on the uh, on the sound card, <laughs> we'll ain't, ain't shit happening on the. Uh, on Not there. the um, Curse Dalian for two. I thought I thought they were gonna do a little bit more with him. I'm gonna be honest. When they yeah. signed him, mm-hmm. I thought they I thought they were gonna do a little bit more. I mean, there's still time. I think he's young, right? He's yeah, young there's dude. A, there, there's a whole bunch of time, you know. Yeah. When there's finally some call ups or like some shifts in the in, in the roster, you know, I definitely think he should be like one of the like next people, to, like put into motion. With that said, <clears throat> Io Shirai, Zoe Stark versus. Uh, Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai. I thought the match was alright. Yeah, I I do like that they're showcasing um, Zoe Stark. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, the match was fine. I, I'm more interested in the post match because Gonzalez, when she dropped Io Shirai on that table, did you see that? It that didn't look good. It like that hurt. <laughs> that, oh, looked, yeah. that looked like it hurt. She landed like the, right on her lower back, bro. Yeah, like. Uh... Not even like the middle, just her lower back, and you can just like the just, wailing, yeah, like, that, the the like the last bit of air that was in yeah. Rice's chest just like came out into yeah, a very was, painful sound. So uh, yeah, um, I, I, they're, I know they're, gonna, they're gonna be hitting. Hard. They're, gonna be hit, they're gonna be hitting hard. I I think, I think that I think that match. I mean, obviously we'll talk about Takeover when the time comes, but like mm-hmm. I think that match is really gonna surprise some people. I think Raquel's a lot better than people think. Give her oh, credit yeah. for, and uh, I know for sure that Io Shirai is going to get the best out of her. What speaking speaking of the post match thing, Dakota Kai tried to like run a little interference, and you know so they can jump her, but Raquel didn't try to stop Io Shirai from beating the hell out of, uh, or you know just kicking Dakota Kai in the face, so mm, she can do her that. own thing. It doesn't seem like that feud is necessarily going to end soon or not not um you know the descent of that team i don't think is going to end soon so i'm thinking that um raquel doesn't win it and it might be due to interference to uh to dakota kai or something Mm. maybe and then that's when we get the the feud after and then whoever's next 
after uh, Raquel can like do the thing or whatever. You know, uh, NXT booking. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. But more tag team action. We have Blackheart and Moon versus the Robert Stone brand and Mercedes Martinez. I like that Mercedes Martinez took the envelope and said, this is half <laughs> and then walked off. And I was just like that, the, uh, the mercenary shit, that's kind of hard. That, that's how you do it. Uh, how, how'd you feel about the match? I thought this, I thought this match was very, whatever. Like I, I yeah, this match didn't it, need to happen. It, it didn't. Yeah. Um, it's fine. You put a defense on, uh, whack and moon. But, um, besides that, no, yeah, nothing to write home about. Uh, I, I thought it was interesting that I don't I think if Beth said this this was Aaliyah's first ever title match in NXT. Mind you, Aaliyah had been in NXT for twenty stop years. It, stop <laughs> it, stop <laughs> it, stop it, stop it. Aaliyah had been in NXT for twenty it, years. This is her first ever title match. So uh shout out to Aaliyah. I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. Um it, it it is what it is. I, I definitely understand that it's it's supposed to just be like a defense under their belt. Uh, I don't, I don't, it, it's so unclear what's next for Mercedes Martinez, same for, um, what is it, Tony Storm? Yeah, a couple, there's a couple guys, NX, guys and girls at NXT where I'm like, where, where are we going with these people? Yeah. I, I'm almost like, damn, should NXT, instead of having women's tag team belts, should they have like a mid-card women's championship? I, I, I would have preferred that, but after, I think after the Dusty Classic, they, like shown that they can have like women tag teams, but unless they just put Tony and Mercedes back together, yeah, that, that that'd be fine. But are there any? Because I'm not sure if there's any women team. Uh, if there's any women tag teams on NXT that isn't just two singles wrestlers that came together. Yeah. Uh, like I. But why you say that? Know. I know I've been bringing up Sheamus all day. Think of the bar. They were just two tag teams put together, and then they were together yeah. for, like, four years. Or however oh, yeah. long they were together. <laughs> so, I mean... I, I just... Uh, well, I'm just wondering, like, in the future, is there going to be they a women tag, tag team? Te- yeah, a women tag team that just, like, comes out fresh as a tag team, not just yeah. two single wrestlers that come together. Yeah. Or, I bet uh, you they will. You don't think two of them, two two girls they sign for PC recruits? Well, yeah, just, just like... Tag team? Yeah, just uh, make them a tag team together, yeah. yeah. I mean, low-key like, Casey uh, more, and Kaden kind of came. Yeah, low-key Casey and Kaden came out like a tag team. I feel like it was like, it wasn't soon after. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I can see that there. But my thing is, is that with those two, they are often seen separate. Like we've seen a lot of Kaden Carter, just like you know, Royal Rumble spots or you know, glorified squash matches. You which know, they think... they've done a lot of single stuff before they came together. That's why I'm yeah. just like. You know, but which I think I think that's gonna be how that women's division tag division is gonna be anyway, regardless. I feel like if you're not in the title picture or around it, yeah, you go to the tag team, team a little <laughs> bit, and then you come back out. It is what it I, I, I am I am praying for the day we see like a women's intercontinental title. You know, I think that would be really cool. Yeah, but, they need that. But let let's get into shit. The main event, in my opinion, the contract signing between Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. These boys are spitting. What's what's the bar Kyle said? You got it. You got it on hand. Uh, no, I, I I I don't have it on hand. I don't. Oh I don't. man, there, we're there, prepared, bro. There there are so many. I think there's so many great lines. But he had one specific one. What do you, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, see if you can find it. Selling his soul. Oh uh, yeah, he, selling his I, soul. He wants it back, and I thought yeah, that was hard. And that was hard. I I do like Kyle just being like. Uh, you know, we ran rough shot. We, you know, jump people and all that. And it's just like that weighed on my conscience, you know? Yeah. And now I'm going to be a free man after I kick your ass at TakeOver. And I, I, I thought that was really cool because Adam Cole is definitely a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. I, I don't, uh, just something separate. It's not part of that. When, when uh, Roger Strong came up to Kyle O'Reilly, and was just like, hey, man. We could really like go fuck them up. Like, what's we'll, we'll, we'll really good? And it was just like, hey man, I'm not with that no more. Undisputed era, not with that no more. It's dead. That and was, was just, it. That was that was the final nail on the coffin. You know what the sad part is? Bobby Fish probably chilled at the crib. Like, what y'all talking about? 
What you mean? Bob, what, what am I about Bob, to do? Bob, Bobby Fish trying to uh, get his parlor account back, just being like, damn. Oh, you know you let, really them, you over. let them, uh, them parlor tweets fly. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't like how Roger Strong kind of just got like tossed to the side. I think that could have been done a little more gracefully, but it's it hurt. You know, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like it's Roger Strong, another guy. I'm like, what are they? What are they gonna do with this dude? Because you remember yeah. what they were doing with him before he started with, with Undisputed Era with a whole bunch of. Let's not talk about that. And the whole bunch of what are we doing? I'm a family man. That's it. That's all they have for him. That. Roger Strong debuted uh, to be uh, Austin Aries' tag team partner. He got hurt, and I think uh, he lost the match against one of the authors of Pain, and then was doing nothing for a really long time, and then he just showed up on 205 Live during the Cruiserweight uh, Classic Tournament. It went crazy. Went crazy. It went crazy. <laughs> went dummy. Some of, some of his best work in the E. Yeah, and then uh, did the stuff with Pete Dunne, and then you know that's where it finally all came together. But I am worried for him as well. We'll see how it goes. He was already North American champion, so I'm just like, what is he going to do after this? He already had. I, I believe he already had the. Uh, he already, he already had the match with Balor. Yeah, it's it's looking rough. I don't know, man. But we'll see what, what goes on. I do. I would just thought going back to the segment. I do like Adam Cole just being like. Hey man, y'all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. Eh, kind of true. He's right. Yeah. Kinda, kinda, kinda <laughs> you, true. you can't even deny that. He's right. Kind of true. Kind of true. Kind of true. I definitely think this. Uh, I I believe they signed him, and then Red Dragon, their contract kind of like ran out much much later. Roddy was there first, right? I forgot. Mm, no. Roddy Wait, was the first. No. Yeah, Roddy, Roddy was there because Austin Aries. Austin Aries. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he, he was there first. Just had him chilling for a bit. Eh, it is what it is. But Adam Cole was spending bars too. Sorry, we don't have the promo on hand. I don't really remember it. It's been a long day. <laughs> but he had bars. Just know he had bars. If, yeah, if, there's they, one they thing to watch, if there's one thing to watch. Did you see the um the clip after the, uh, the internet exclusive? Yeah. Where uh, uh, Cole Cole swung on Regal, I was just like, "You're big green, you're big yeah. green." I, and and Adam Cole, when he did it, and he uh, when he was walking back up the ramp, he was just like, "Oh fuck, I didn't mean to hit you, dog." <laughs> I don't know how he looked directly in his face before he did it. He he was just doing <laughs> what he had to do. He had, hey. he, had to, he had to look up at William Regal. William Regal like six foot <laughs> six for no reason. So I don't understand how he, he missed the missed the guy. Hey, um. If we get an Adam Cole versus William Regal match, sign me the fuck up, bro. How old is William? Before as, we do this, how old is William Regal? As far as I know, Regal did not retire because of injury. He just retired because he was just like, fuck it, I don't want to wrestle no more. Yeah. <laughs> I look, if, if, if Regal, wow, he's younger than I thought he was. He's only, <laughs> he, he's only 52. I thought he was way older than that. He's only oh, 52 on, years man. old. He could do another match. But hey, just one I'm more, gonna, one more. But if he does, I'm going to give him the same energy I gave Sting. I have to. Oh I yeah, gotta, sure. I gotta. Yeah. It's it's only fair. You know, yeah. Sting, uh, you know, you know, Sting is like seventy, but <laughs> whatever. I oh, this thing would be nice. I think he's sixty-two. But damn, so, why did I think Regal was so much older than that? Because he's old. Because he looks old. He, he looks he's very. Got, he's, he's got an old nigga face. He's been old since, since the nineties. He, he look. He looks very regal. <laughs> you know, you gotta respect it. Uh, I would. I would say that I. You know, I know this is going to seem like, you know, NXT bias, but I wouldn't give it the same energy as Sting because William Regal isn't having a promo segment, uh, a five minute promo segment every week, just being like, hey, I'm here for the fans, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm here this week and I'm talking again. You know, and, 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 they, and they ran that for, um, I, I definitely think that we're going to see Regal. There's going to be a promo and then Adam Cole is going to do a lot of carrying for it. I just think that NXT is going to do it a lot different. So, you know, they do they do like giving Cole those, mm -hmm. you know, those random one off matches. They gave him with the Pat McAfee. Yeah, let, it, let, can let, hey, let, it can let happen. Hey, it can happen. Let him do it with Regal. You think, you think uh, Regal gonna take a Panama Sunrise? Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, if Regal take the Panama Sunrise, <laughs> he's in my top fifty goat. He's in my top ten. Off that, I I would I. I as far as I know, he's not retired due to injury or any like neck shenanigans. 
but I'd be very worried about a Panama Sunrise. I, I believe uh, Mark said uh, on Twitter, uh, Mark from RSPN, he was just like, oh, we go see uh, Regal in the match. And my first thought was, yo, he takes a Yugi Garoshi, it's fucking over. <laughs> <laughs> he might not get up. <laughs> his, neck, his neck turned into a swirly, bro. Oh, no. I, I am very worried, but Regal might be more healthy than we're giving him credit for. So, yeah. Let me we'll, see. Uh... I want to see his last what his last match was. I believe it was Chris uh, Hero. I believe it was Chris Hero. It, it might be the Cesaro match. Was it Cesaro? Was that after? I thought here. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Tony, the last match was on November twenty first, twenty thirteen, against Cesaro. Um, so I mean, it's a little bit of a it's about eight years, but <laughs> he, he looks like he's still in decent shape. I'd imagine yeah. he's probably still in decent shape. Yeah. So hey, hey if he can do it. Regal, if you hear this, we rooting for you, man. Yeah, I'm a little, I, I'll be worried, but I'm on your side. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how that goes. And j- just a couple quick hits. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the stuff that is going to appear on TakeOver and what's going to be setting up for the stuff that's going to appear on TakeOver. But we're going to start with Bronte Reed versus LA Knight. I thought this match was pretty mid. Uh, but the, re- the result of the match definitely did surprise me. Surprised me. Um, I didn't think they would have LA Knight lose on his second match. Um, get get in there with a real one, man. But with that being said, while I was watching it, I was like, damn, they had Bronson Reed lose. Like, because that's another situation where, like, if he loses, like, what does he do now? He's another one of those guys like Kushida who, like, will have a match and then be gone for three weeks. We're, we're, when we're going to talk about the, uh, the, what is it, the Battle Royale and the Gauntlet Eliminator. That's, that is the, we don't really know what to do with these guys, Battle Royale. <laughs> that is absolutely it. You no, know, the problem is, I think it's Gargano holding onto that belt. I yes, it is. No, it, 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 is at, it is absolutely that. And them not pulling the trigger on anybody else. Yeah. Once again, Gargano causing a log jam. <laughs> Just take, take the title off, I'm saying. Um, yeah. Walter has a match against uh, Drake Maverick. <laughs> OP. Killed the man. And then uh, Tommaso Ciampa came out. Tom- Tommaso, getting jump ain't nothing if he gets what, gets what he want. Yeah. He, he, he'll, he'll, t- uh, he'll, he'll take a beat down if it means he gets a title match or uh, a match against anybody. So uh, we're going to be getting Walter and uh Tommaso Ciampa for the North uh no not the North American for the, the UK, UK championship. And I think both of, as soon as we heard that both of us went so Rampage Brown ain't winning. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't think he was going to win anyway. Um I I absolutely thought he was going to win because he is the only not small well, dude Walter has ever faced. But like I don't know I've been watching NXT since it rebooted and like He's a viable contender, but like just from watching the show, nothing tells me like, oh, this guy is the guy that's ready. I mean, I don't, I don't watch know. the show. I that's literally, I literally just think like size alone. Yeah, is what's no, gonna I mean, uh, get him there, and then I'm with you finally on that, get Walter over. Just like how he's been presented on the show so far, mm-hmm. I w- not yet at least. I can see them having the match, and it's close. Well, or, uh, you know, or d- didn't they have a confrontation last week? Yeah, and Rampage pushed him over. <laughs> well, huh? Had hey, Walter looking soft. That that, yeah, that is those, those, rare, those. rare, <laughs> rare. <laughs> so, um, I can see them having a match. Walter wins, and then they run it back. Mm-hmm. Whenever, maybe when crowds come back, I don't know. Uh, well, we don't. I, I I believe they haven't announced when the match is going to happen with Rampage Brown, right? So he might just kill. I don't. Is that it's that prelude? I think NXT prelude, whatever the hell that is. Okay, I don't think I, I don't think Tommaso Ciampa is winning, but I don't know when Rampage Brown is supposedly supposed to have this match because. If it's before takeover, then it's like an issue. So, yeah. And it, and well, they get the champ of the Europe. I mean, if they really want to, but for what? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't, I don't want to see Chomp in uh, in NXT UK. You don't even watch NXT UK. So, why do you care? And it's gonna make me want to watch even less. Walter is what <laughs> I watch. I watch NXT UK for Walter. That is literally it. Uh, I don't. 
I, 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 after the match with Kaylee Ray, I was just like, I, I can't even do it for her. Yeah, you can't watch it, girl. That match That's was crazy. Too, that match was too bad. And it, the match was bad, and the, the directing for it was even awful. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really sour. It really soured me on the uh, on the women's division thing. I think the last time I I really watched was for the Mako Satamora match, and that was about it. But we'll see how that goes. I don't think they announced the match for Rampage Brown and Walter, so Tommaso Ciampa might just get killed, and then we have the match with Walter later. Uh, the match that will be replacing MSK versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch is a triple threat with. MSK, Grizzly Young Veterans, and Elgato Del Fantasma. And all I have to say is, you know, I think we all got what we wanted. <laughs> yeah. I, I really do think we all got what we wanted here. I wanted well, El, I wanted El Elgato Fantasma to be in the finals, but they end up being at TakeOver. Anybody that felt the same way for Grizzly Young Veterans, they're there. I wanted MSK to win the titles at TakeOver. The, the mania take over. I, I I think we all won here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you think MSK? You so say you're picking MSK? Absolutely. Yeah. They might as well. And we're we're definitely going to have our prediction episode next week, and we're we're gonna have to talk about a lot of this uh a lot about that stuff next weekend. But we'll probably talk about that after AEW. But last topic on NXT is we don't know what we're doing with any of these guys. Battle Royale <laughs> and. The six, this last six competitors will, uh, the last six competitors will be allowed into the Gauntlet Eliminator match, and then they'll be facing Johnny Gargano for whenever the hell. This um, this whole match is just convoluted, and there's just so much going on. This is some TNA shit. This like this like the TNA Reverse Battle Royale. <laughs> Remember that shit? But like, no, I I. But my thing is, I don't know. It, it did confuse me as well, and I tried to like, uh, I I tried to think about it, but. I don't think the Battle Royale and the Gauntlet Eliminator are happening on the same day. Okay. Is the Battle so, Royale next week or something? Or Yes, I think the Battle Royale is next week, and okay. then and the, the Gauntlet six, Eliminator is on night be, one. Maybe? On, no, you said night one, the night two is the, the winner of the Gauntlet Eliminator faces Gargano. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it's not happening all at once, so it's not that TNA-ish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and, yeah, who's that's in it. Do you remember who's in the match? They didn't. They didn't say who was in the match, but they just did a. They didn't show you know, a graphic. They showed no a graphic. Didn't they? No, they they just uh, was it just showed a whole bunch of dudes like on on video. So people like Tyler Russ, Swerve, Ruff, Grimes, Pete Dunn. Roderick, Dunn, the promo, mm-hmm. Loomis. Uh, I believe I saw Kushida in there. I think yeah, Bronson Reed in and there. LA LA Knight might be in it. Mm. Just. Literally everybody that is just like we don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Those guys are gonna be in it. So we'll it see how that goes. Though. They they might even add more dudes, you know, just some random PC dudes to make their debut and get eliminated. Like we might see goddamn Austin Gray in that bitch. Like it, it, it is what it is. That's how I, that's how I know he don't matter. You 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 didn't even get his name right. That's not his name? It's August Gray. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but yeah. It is what it is. But that is it for NXT. We're gonna get into I, I don't I don't know how to feel about this episode of AEW. I'm gonna be really real. I feel but, like I've been saying that for the last month. <laughs> but we we're, we're, we're gonna talk about it. I put AEW on the map. And those three letters, AEW, come second to the most epic three in all of professional wrestling. D. M. D. How did you feel about Kenny Omega versus Matt Seidel? I actually liked the match. Um, This is my thing with Kenny Omega. Everything in ring, I'm, I'm all with it. Everything outside of that ring, he looks like a, a fucking dweeb, bro. I'm sorry. But the match was – I enjoyed the match. Um, Matt Sidow is one of those guys where I'm, like, I'm still amazed at how good he is for as long as he's been wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like, if you, if you would have told me that this guy is 25 and he just started, you know – He's 25? 
No, I'm saying if he was 20, oh. if he, like if I didn't know who Matt Seidel was, like this guy, the uh, up and coming dude, he's 25. Mm. Just by the way he moves, I'm like, yeah, I believe it. But then you find out dude been wrestling since like 2004 or whatever. <laughs> and like, man, this guy is still moving like this. I think he's mm-hmm. very good. Um, the match was very strong. I think, and it's, I'm, not, I'm sorry, excuse me. AEW had two really, really strong matches um, last night. That was one of them. Um, great match all around. And yeah. I I agree. Uh, the Kenny the Kenny Omega stuff, it a lot of it is just not sticking with me yeah. anymore. Like, I don't uh, the primarily like B trigger heavy offense is just like all right. Like I've seen it. Like let's see some holds. Let's see let's see a submission. You feel me? Like I, I don't know. I I kind of want Omega to kind of grow as a competitor. You know, because mm-hmm. he's still I you know. The formula might work for a lot of the guys, like still, but he's still wrestling the same when he was the best wrestler in the world. But now that he's in AEW and is kind of just not hitting like that anymore, like you know what I've been different. thinking when I was watching AEW this week. Now, because I used to have this complaint about NXT, but I think they've kind of calmed down on it. It's it's the PWG syndrome kind of this situation where like. If, I don't know how many of our listeners used to watch like uh, PWG when it was like in his prime, but like mm-hmm. almost all their big matches were like very, very fast paced, very minimal selling, a whole bunch of kickouts, and they were mm-hmm. always like long for no reason. Mm-hmm. And like every like, like back when NXT when Gargano and Chopper were on top, they used to do oh, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. they did it a lot. Um, I think they kind of, I mean, they still do it NXT, but they kind of calmed it down. But AEW's right now is they're, they're on their PW. He's gotten to the point where even Cody wrestling like a PWG guy. And uh, he was there for like three months. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're doing. Fucking... I, de- I, de- I definitely think this is a PWG esque episode, without, which makes sense uh... because if you look at that, literally everybody mm-hmm. who wrestled tonight, I mean, last night was literally at, at some point, we're probably on PWG besides yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Actually, Darby I think everybody. Allen. I think Darby like the only guy. What he, I think he was on PWG, wasn't he? I'm pretty uh, sure he worked at PWG. He, I know him as an evolved guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he he probably worked PWG like near the end. If anything, the, 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 this is a Ben Coyle question. <laughs> yeah, ben, ben would know, but yeah, like honestly, almost every male on that roster probably had a run yeah. in PWG, including Laredo Kid. I'm pretty sure had a run in oh, PWG. Yeah. So like, it, it felt like it. It felt like I was watching the two hour episode of mm-hmm. PWG. Um, um, and that that mileage may vary if that's a good thing or bad thing to which, you, but which is which is fine. I don't like I liked PWG, but like mm-hmm. it just it doesn't feel right. I don't know if it needs some kind of variety. I don't know. It's something about AEW wrestling style recently. I, I almost sound like I feel like I sound like JR. <laughs> oh, is that it, like, it, it all like, just looks the same? Yeah, like just slow down, kid. I feel like an old man, like slow down, kid. Uh, I'm I, saying. Well, I just think uh, everything they a lot a lot of the wrestling stuff is it, it just all feels the same. Yeah. Um, like how is <clears throat> excuse me, how is like the six man tag that was on tonight any different from any other six man that we had before? Yeah. It, it's you know just a whole bunch of spots, a fuck ton of people, and then you know all the same spots get done, like. I think every uh, a lot of people that primarily don't like the Bucks is because all the Bucks matches are the same, and they've been wrestling this way since PW their you know their insane run in PWG, and yeah. I definitely think they need some growth as well. Same shit, same as uh, Kenny Omega, but I I did like the Matt Seidel and Kenny Omega match. I do like Matt Seidel a lot. He bumped like a monster. Yeah, uh, all that was um, really that, good that, spots. That Frankenstein reversal. That Frankenstein reversal when, when was really cool. Back, that was mm-hmm. crazy. That was cool. Uh, that and when he went for the Meteora and Kenny Omega countered it into the uh, the buckle bomb or yeah. sort sort of like a buckle bomb. I, I I thought that was really cool, but it's all right. Darby Allen versus uh, John Silver, and I didn't know, but it's very unfortunate that John Silver is injured now after this match. Yeah, and I think I know I mean, where. <laughs> I believe it was um, when he hit the barricade on the outside. I think that's what did it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it was reported that he had, I believe it was a shoulder injury. Don't quote me on that. I believe it was a shoulder injury or like a, 
arm some arm injury mm-hmm. so at some like halfway through the match so uh like, the match was fine i've been giving i'm not i'm obviously gonna give him some leeway because uh yeah, he got hurt. john Silver was working her i'm just happy i was really happy to see darby allen well at first initially I'm like oh he's finally away from sting he could do his own thing now mm-hmm. and then <laughs> like literally as soon as i thought it sting pops out I'm like oh and <laughs> never and mind it, and, it, and it's mind-boggling me because dark order is space so yeah. what it like what is he protecting darby allen from yeah, that, it, I didn't, Dark I Order know. hasn't got like interfered in any matches or jumped anybody in a really long time. Yeah, really. So long time. like Sting was really just out there just to be there, and I thought that you know, just throwing out a uh, just just throwing out Sting just to be there is like yeah. AEW's big issue because I think this would be twice in one night. Was it twice? Uh, because uh, the Lance Archer and Sting stuff. But I think was that just a promo? I don't think Sting was there. Did I miss something? I might have missed it. I don't even know. You 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 put Sting and Archer on the, uh, on the thing. I put that on there. Yes, uh, you did. <laughs> oh, I'm bugging. So I I, well, I thought no I thought the, it, pro- I, the I promo thought it, was... it was a pro it was a promo. Lance Archer did a, like a little uh, backstage promo about Sting. He wasn't on the show at that oh, okay. point yet. But it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I, I just I like I was just like I said I was just so disappointed. See, yeah. as soon as Sting came out, like, come on, man, let Darby do his thing. Like, we get yeah, Dar- Darby Allen definitely needs to be his own man, and Sting does not need to be present every show. Yeah, it makes him like like he's like he's his dad, and like you know what I mean, like you know, like when mm-hmm. <laughs> like Darby's a rebellious teen, it's like it's like the Goofy movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that like is, that is that is a Darby's really a rebellious teen, and then like. Sting, like, you know, still up in his business, like, nigga, leave, bro. Like, I'm a grown man. <laughs> uh, you know, Dar- Darby Allen just wants to go to the power line concert. Yeah. And Sting, Sting just needs to be there with his baseball bat, making sure he doesn't get jumped yeah. by some faces. <laughs> like, uh, it's what I, I thought the match was okay. There was at some points where I was just like, uh, it's, it's whatever. Um, I don't know. It, I don't think this is. Uh, the best Darby Allen uh, title defense. I definitely thought that. I don't think this is uh, the best John Silver showing either. But once again, yeah, he no. got hurt, so I can't even like really fault him crazy for it. Yeah, I definitely think the match with Scorpio Sky was like the peak, and I yeah. like how they alluded to, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, alluded to all that stuff with Scorpio Sky, and then it's not on the show anymore. He had a promo. He had a little promo too. A little, little, little yeah. segment, little, a little video. Fuck, fuck, fuck about these promos, man. Get this man hey. on the show, man. Hey. <laughs> But uh, six man tag, we talked about it a little bit uh, before, but Young Bucks I, and Cutler versus the Lucha Bros and Kid. I don't, I don't know how to say the first name. L- Laredo, Laredo, Kid. Laredo. Laredo. But you know what the, the funny thing is? I know we were just talking shit about the PWG style, but I actually mm-hmm. really, really like this tag. This is my favorite right. match of the, of, the, of the night last night for both shows. This is my favorite match. <laughs> so. I don't think that you can go wrong with the Bucks and Lucha Bros. Yeah, they. they They've done this a bajillion times. Yeah, I think like, Phoenix Phoenix is in his peak right now. I, like, I seen... li, li, listen, listen to these lines, man. I do not have a problem with a lot of the wrestling. It's just why is it happening? Is what really bothers. Me. This one I understand because uh, it, it was supposed to be Pac versus it's supposed to be Pac and oh, Phoenix be, versus uh, versus Death the Bucks. It, yeah, but Pac is Pac is injured currently. So what? Yeah, they said it. On, they like briefly said it on commentary. I don't think it's a big injury. But oh. uh, I believe Excalibur said he's taking. He's taking. Dog, um, Death Triangle a is never in full Yo, force. They, they're never in full never force. Never in full force. Someone's always hurt. That could be me going too damn hard. I like. <laughs> they gotta relax. I don't know what it is about these hey, guys. Man. But... Ne- 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 next week, Phoenix is hurt. Watch. <laughs> but um, Laredo Kid looked great. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't. They said this was he wrestled in AEW before. I don't remember him ever being in AEW. And they said it like he, I think it was like on the early early shows like he, like he, all he, out or something like he might be a product out. he might be a product of dark <laughs> yeah probably we, we never know. you know what's crazy they um what's his name they already uh what's homeboy's name that debuted at the uh at the brass ring match Ethan Page that's his name yeah they they already got his ass on elevation yeah, elevation bro which I get it because I think uh spoilers for anybody who really cares I believe Moxley had the match on elevation next week um but. It's just interesting, like they haven't had him on Dynamite at all since he debuted. I think, though, well, they did. They had him when the, uh, the, uh, the, the audio the, got all fucked up. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, besides that, yeah, I was, I'm surprised. I thought they were, were going to do a little bit more with him, but we'll give it time. Um, but yeah, six man was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, I, I, I thought the match was decent as well. Just like some puzzling things, like the wrestling's fine, but you know why they do this. Um, I don't like that they have Brian Cut, uh, Cutler to uh, just take Brandon, pins for the Bucks. Brandon Cutler. Yeah, they, you're on fire today with the names, boy. With the jobber names. Uh, it, what did I say? You said Brian Cutler. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's all <laughs> I, good. I, 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 I literally did. I literally did not mean to. But uh, hey, man, just just jobber doing jobber things. But hey. I don't get like this is the second time that they just brought him along just so he could take the pin. Like, why are the Bucks just like, no, I can't get pinned for the purpose of this story? Like. Oh, you you couldn't just take the pin to a, a would you if you were in the buck situation you had Brandon Cutler right there. All right, I'm a very <laughs> nice person. I will do the job to bring up a. a... Let's cap. If I was a tag team not champion not. and then not Phoenix not. was just like, hey man, let's, let's get it, you know. I'll tell you right now, if I was a wrestler and I had, if I didn't have the job, I'm not jobbing, bro. Well, <laughs> it, it's I'm not saying I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying like the Bucks have to like job every week like you know the lucha bros have to just beat their ass every week but like can the lucha bros get a legitimate like one up on the bucks because they pin cutler what does that do what what does that do for the bucks like what they don't care about him it was laredo kid who pinned cutler so it doesn't even really matter anyway like (laughs) that makes it even more though like why that that makes it worse because then what is the point of even having this match <laughs> let, let let them have a, t- uh, a singles match on dark. Yeah, they about to have a. Uh, and then just like have them ringside, I guess. But I I, I don't know. A, it, best of seven. Because like it, it 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 even happened for um. What is it? Uh, when they had Cutler versus Jake Hager, like they just had him, so like uh the inner circle can just have like a one up on him. Yeah. For what? Just 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 take a pin one time. I don't know. Just one time. Like you're still the tag team no, champs no, after you no, take you one know pin. What happened? Young Bucks took all their pins the first year. They said we we gonna we gonna lose the first year. <laughs> after that, it ain't happening no more. Uh, that that what that one job to private party. You know, they lost a couple of matches that the first year. They was they was. They was they you, you, you know what match they should have lost? The match oh, versus LAX. Yeah. And then they had uh, and, and then they had uh, Rock and Roll Express Hold'em Boys. <laughs> For what? See, they could be. What? Uh, what's his name? He could do a um uh 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 damn uh, uh Canadian destroyer. Why can't um why can't Regal? <laughs> Homeboy did it. I don't remember dude's name. Was it Ricky Morton? Is that the name? Yeah, 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 yeah. He did, he did one. <laughs> but no, uh, they 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 got my man's eating pins just so the Bucks don't have to, and I don't really think that's like necessary at all, honestly. But let let's get to the match that everybody. Is like you know, it, it, it's that time of it's, it's that time of the month again. See now, but, um, this is what this is what I want to talk about. This is what, this is what I was excited to see. This is what you excited Look, to see. Okay, so Nyla, Nyla Rose and Ty Conti. Let me let me let me preface this by saying that I'm a fan of Ty Conti. I like Ty Conti a lot. I think she has I improved. Do too. I, I, I think do she too. Has improved. So right, so I was on YouTube today, or whatever. You know, like you know, the recommended things. I saw a video. I didn't click on a link because I, I was like, I'm not even gonna click this. I'm not even gonna give this this a click. But it was, uh, I believe, it was Brian and Vinny from Wrestling Observer, and the title was, <laughs> I don't remember the exact title, but it basically was like, Ty Conti's improvement proves that the PC isn't working or something like that. I'm like, guys, let's relax. <laughs> if I had a booing sound on the soundboard, bro, like let's relax. Like, look. Ty Condi's great. Has she improved? Absolutely. You know how you improve? Experience. When she first came to NXT, she had like no experience. She barely even knew what wrestling was. They literally said that on AEW. Like she barely knew anything about wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like previous aside to AEW. I mean, uh, excuse me, to NXT. Like, of course she was going to improve. She's a natural athlete. At the time yeah. when she was in NXT, she just, they were just uh, that she roster was... was just so stacked. It was mm-hmm. just like, what can they really do? Hey, Amen. Let, let, let me just say something. I'm not putting Tay Conti over Io Shirai. Who did that? I'm not. I'm not putting her over Io Shirai. 
Who I'm did not that? putting. I'm not putting her over Bianca Belair. I'm not putting over uh, her over Candice LeRae. I'm not putting her over uh, Dakota Kai. I'm not putting her over Rhea Ripley. I'm not putting her over um, Mercedes Martinez. I yeah, get yeah. it. We can all appreciate Tay Conti's growth without mentioning NXT because I, when I was talking to somebody else about this, they were just like, you know what? It is really good that Takanti is proving. I would be worried if she did not improve. Exactly. That's my point. If she was still wrestling in AEW all this time and she hasn't improved at all, I would be very worried. About, what does that say about AEW then? Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, to, to say that the, the, the PC doesn't work is nonsense. It's complete. Like, come on now. The Becky P, like, Lynch. Li- literally. Like, Sasha even, Banks. Even Indy. Seth Rollins. Even. John the, Moxley. Even Indy stars got better after they went through. Like, guys who, you know, 10 years in the game on the Indies, who were killing on the Indies, they got better after they left the PC. You know what I mean? Like, the PC is going to make you better. Like, WWE, WWE, even whatever you feel about their booking or whatever, they have some of the greatest wrestling minds working backstage all the time. And a lot of them are former wrestlers. That's what I'm saying. You got, what's it, what's homeboy? Norman Smiley. Norman Smiley is a fucking encyclopedia of just wrestling knowledge. <laughs> he's just right there. You can, they can text him right now, like, yo, what do you think about this? He'll, he'll be, he's right on demand at all times. Let's, let's not act like the PC isn't working, like it hasn't. Uh... You know, spawn so many main event stars. Let's not act like the PC isn't working because Tay Conti just wasn't better than a lot of the women that they had at the time. And that might be a separate conversation. Uh, or honestly, I don't even want to talk about that. Um, if anything, I, NXT just put Tay Conti on TV too early. Yeah, if we didn't keep it stacked, they, they, they put her on they, TV. They, they put it. They put her on TV too early. The and, then, and, and, and then when she has matches that are bad, everybody goes, they are bad. But now yeah. that she's on AEW, everybody acts. Everybody's just like, "Oh man, I love seeing the growth." You supposed I to? Lo- I, I love. <laughs> N- motherfuckers have been ragging on Aaliyah for five years now. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't see. I don't see. I don't. I don't, I don't see y'all going. Oh, uh, last night. Oh man, Aaliyah's gotten like really better over time, or you know, she's way better than what she was doing uh, five years ago. I love to see the development happen before my <laughs> eyes. Y'all not doing that for her. Y'all don't do that. For, y'all, y'all don't do that for a lot of folks. I don't see y'all doing that for Zia Lee. Y'all not doing that for Caden Carter. Yeah, you know it's it's just like people are so thirsty to find something wrong with WWE. Which I'm look, I'm not going to say WWE is without fault because there, clearly yeah. there's a lot of things WWE can work on. Yeah, we we and literally I mean, talked about yeah, it. Like they yeah, have men like, they floating have in the ether. A lot of things they can work on. But, like, people are just, like, so thirsty just to find one thing. Like, look, see? There you go. Right there. The PC doesn't work. Look at Ty Conti now compared to five years ago, whatever the hell she was in there. Like, come on, bro. If she wasn't better than she was five years ago, I think we should all be worried. Yeah. You know? Like, it's fine. I do like Tay Conti, too. I like to see I, – I do enjoy to see the growth. But let's not act like you motherfuckers was really watching NXT when it was, like, faithfully – on time as much as you do now when it was all developmental talent. That's just not the case. Uh, with that said, I did like the match with uh, Nyla Rose and Conti. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm I'm kind of puzzled why... Well, I get it because Nyla Rose is more experienced and I think her going against Ryu Mizunami, who's also experienced, would have gave up, you know, just the best match in general rather yeah. than throwing Conti. You know, having her being a deer in headlights, that that just like wasn't necessary. But her overcoming the demon that is Nyla Rose or, you know, temporary demon that is Nyla Rose is cool. Yeah, so now and I think um now um I believe Ty Conti's number one on the rankings. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I believe she's number one. So we might be getting the match sooner than later. I would uh, be very worried. Let's hold off, let's hold off on that. Hey. I, I know I like to say that rankings don't matter and be faithful to the rankings, but like let let's. I want to see her get a lot better before she faces Hikaru Shida, awesome. or uh, faces Hikaru Shida. Period. While we're talking about Hikaru Shida, now if y'all follow my tweets, y'all know that I say AEW is very swaggerless, but I was talking about the men. But but Hikaru Shida, look, <laughs> this is gonna come off so bad. Fit 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 watch. <laughs> fit watch, Hikaru Shida. 
But baby, look. You look great in them suits. I love the suits. Them wedges? No. No. <laughs> Don't wear those wedges, please, ever again. You know what I mean? Wear some nice wear some nice shoes, some flats, some heels. <laughs> if you want to wear some heels, I understand if you don't want to wear heels in the ring. Them wedges, they got to go, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how they get down in Japan, but I hear. Is it the wedges, no? The wedges are no. That's it. That's all I got. I feel, I feel, I feel like I could Google a pic of Asuka and like when she was at NXT and then she was wearing heels Early as well. NXT? Or yeah. uh, Eel Shirai when she came out in Japan, and she, man, 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 maybe maybe wedges on the waves, but I'm. Yeah. It is what it is, man. I'm not doing no fit watching Hikaru Shida. Let's get the belt off her. Yeah, that, that, that's the other part of the fit I want going. <laughs> that fucking belt. Off. <laughs> get the get the fucking belt off her, man. And then uh, transitioning into quick hits, um, Britt Baker has a promo for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know how you could lose that big match last week and talk cash shit. Yo, uh, you see the tweet Thunder Rosa had? She was like, I don't know where where did you guys see this uh Britt Baker versus Britt Baker match that happened last week? Because <laughs> no one's uh, talking about Thunder Rosa. That, yeah, you know, that is crazy. I, I, I get it. I I was on Reddit. I, some guy said it on Reddit. I was like, you know what? That's fair. Like, it's like the person who taking the thumbtack spot is probably the one people like when you think about Mick Foley or Randy Orton, I don't remember who won that match. I just remember Randy Orton took the thumbtack spot. You know what I mean? What, what is it? Break, break, Britt Baker had the shot. Yeah, she had the, the, the great she, camera she, shot. She had the shot. You know what that reminded me of? I know it's, it's kind of wild even compared to that. It's like it's like Bret Hart versus Stone Cold at WrestleMania 13. Like, we, like Bret Hart won the match, but no one ever talks about how Bret Hart won that match. It's always about how Stone Cold, like, you know. Oh, it's like about over game. Cold. Yeah. yeah it, 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 it's very much part of Stone Cold's story. Yeah. Bret Hart is like it's like a footnote in Bret Hart's story. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's just, it's one of those situations where honestly, I, kind of, I, 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 I don't th- about it. I don't think Thunder Rosa should have said that. Like, don't, let's not draw attention to how nobody's talking about you. Yeah. Um. I kind of complained about it on Twitter. Like, why is Thunder Rosa getting a title match? I mean, getting the promo after she lost, and people kind of came on my mention. And I was like, you know what? I, I guess that's fair. Because once again, Thunder Rosa isn't signed to AEW, which a lot of people kept telling me. Then which makes me wonder then, why did they why, why have, have her win it? That? That's what I said. I was like, why would you have her you, win? You you know you know you know would have been real cool if Britt Baker won that match and then started talking cash shit. Because it doesn't look weird now. Yeah. What was the it point? It doesn't look a little silly. Uh, I mean, no, I, I, gotta, and I don't I don't, I don't I don't know why they're so adamant about not signing her or her not signing like. I believe she still has some kind of contract with the NWA. I think that's the reasoning. But I'm I'm sure Tony Khan could just buy that shit out. I'm saying you got, the, you got like, the bread. Treat hey man, treat Thunder Rosa right. She wouldn't right. even consider re-signing to like yeah. an NWA, bro. You can buy that shit out. She's literally elevating your women's division. Yeah. Way uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna it is also I, I wanna give AEW credit. They are doing a better job with their women's division oh, the last yeah. I'd say last month it's been it's been a lot since the end of the um the tournament. Mm-hmm. I'd say they've been doing a much better job. So I will give them credit. Yeah. We used to pray for times like this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh we have a match, the pinnacle, uh FTR and Sean Spears versus the varsity blonde and somebody else I forgot. Uh, uh but... it was uh Dante Martin. I don't know who that is. So yeah, from uh the um them two light skinned boys. I forgot the <laughs> I forgot the tag team name with them two young light skinned boys that uh, he flipped them really high. No, not <laughs> um what the hell is it? I forgot the name of the team. But yeah. they're the, the two, but they're um they're brothers. They're like twin not, not twins, one older than the other one, but they look like twins. Hey man, and fuck this match, man. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, stop fucking get Sean Spears the fuck out of here, man. I don't I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, but I kind of got the reference. They said Sean Spears is the uh, the Yamcha of uh of the Pinnacle. <laughs> we're all we're all just waiting for the moment where he dies. <laughs> yeah, so he's clearly the guy who could be taking a lot of the up. falls <laughs> for um Yeah. I, I don't for, know. Uh, he he just he just seems so fucking out of place. Yeah. He's just, with, with his butter's haircut. <laughs> Uh, you know, what, I think it's because he's clean shaven. Shaving that beard off was not a good look for him. I don't know why he did that. I I just think where you're in a faction with people that actually win, yeah, it looks weird. Like <laughs> that's all. It, that's all. That's all it really is to me. Like your track, your track record doesn't really 
allow you to be part of the pinnacle. Especially you know when they pants that man and he had totally blanched his face on his ass, man. That was it. That was it. Come on, bro. What are we doing here? Was it? On, I thought it was on the front. Was it on the front? No, it was on. It was on his cheeks, bro. Oh well, damn. That's probably better, I guess. <laughs> yes. No, no, that is way better. <laughs> I don't know where my irrational hatred from Sean, for Sean Spears came from, but I just don't like him. Bro. I don't know where it came from. Um, I think where it started for me was the match with Cody. Uh, a lot of the chairman stuff I wasn't really a big fan of. I, w- I was definitely willing. I did like him. Uh, no, I, did, I didn't like him when he was in WWE. Oh, I, I liked that, him then. I, I liked didn't. I liked him a lot then. I did like him a lot then. I think uh, the only... I think he had like a match against like Bobby Roode or Randy Orton on a SmackDown or something. Uh, I thought the match was okay, and that was like the last time we like saw him. And you know, then, I, I, and then, I, I, better people came along. This is not good. You know what? I think it was his fan base at the time because they, they were niggas was really trying to get that ten shit over, and it was over. Yeah. But it, like, not nah, what I, I I think it, it's just where you know, uh WWE didn't really like properly utilize him. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, and it was like, just like, okay, let's see what he does in AEW, and then like first thing he does is controversy by having Cody's like head like split like a melon. Yeah, and yeah, they tried to milk it, which I I, I thought that was cool. Like they they tried to bounce back with it, but none of the matches were hitting. And then uh, they had him pair with Tully Blanchard, and I'm not a wrestling historian, so they didn't really do nothing for me. Yeah, that that's definitely for the old heads to pop. That probably like pop like Jr. Like, hey, look at that, got Tully yeah. Blanchard out there. I don't. But um, it was just besides that. Me. Besides all that, um, what do you think of the promo? It, it's standard MJF promo to me. I, don't, I couldn't tell you anything that he even said. Uh, um, I definitely think uh, Dax has the best part of the promo. Uh, yeah. And that kind of proves to me that they don't really need to be part of the pinnacle. They don't really need MJF to be their voice. And still, t- like, still to this day, I don't need MJF cutting promo. I know, I, I know he can talk. Yeah. But like when it's in the ring, never delivers for me. Let's start yeah. work. Let's start like making him work more in ring. Like let's make like show me that you're a threat in ring, and then you know these challengers should be worried about you. Yeah. And I I just don't think the pinnacle is gonna get anywhere with uh, the elite stuff on all sides of the males division, except like Darby Allen. Uh, how'd you feel about the Rhodes TV show? Yo, uh, <laughs> shout out to uh, Stack Guy Greg for uh, for mid and misses. That's the funniest. <laughs> Yo, body. Oh Not man, very mean. <laughs> um, hey, probably one of the most boring couples that I could have ever gave a TV show to. My first, I thought was like, who asked for that? Like, literally, who asked for Cody and Brandy Rose TV show? Look, y'all not, I said y'all it, not even I watching the big go big show, bro. Right? Yeah, I, I, I um. I, was, I said in the Discord, like, I barely thought Miz and Maurice were entertaining enough to have their own TV show. Like, in this, like... You're not. <laughs> they're not even close to what Miz and Maurice are. Like, I can't see... I don't... Do, who's watching this, bro? I'm sorry. This, hey, man, this, if you if you re, if you really watching this, you're wilding. You, sorry, you brother. Are, you are dedicated, boy. If you write, if you're watching The Roads, and then what if Brandy says she's like, I'm so honored to be the first black person in The Roads family. Like, what, like, what you do? Wow. Okay. Who okay. cares? <laughs> No, give a fuck. Literally for what? <laughs> Who cares? It's not, it's not like they're a fuck? royal family or they're like their name holds any real weight outside of wrestling. It barely it barely holds I weight in barely hold the rest. Let's no, stop. I'm, 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 I'm not I'm not gonna do that, dude. I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the road family. I'm gonna do that. Cause I outside outside of Dusty. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Cause Dustin, he's had a hell of a career. All right. I'm not, I'm not, because Goldust was definitely a character. Like, Goldust set shit off. Like, Goldust was, like, low-key the beginning of the Attitude Era. Like, he's low-key the one who started it. Uh, we gonna keep not, it a stack. Because he, he uh, debuted. I, I he won't debuted debate in 90, it. He debuted in, like, 95, and there was no character like that at that point. Oh, yeah. TV. He was very dedicated. That man yeah. said, I'm willing to be, I'm willing to become transgender for this. Yeah, he said, I'm, I'm like, willing to do whatever. I was just like, that's dedication to the job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, man. Also, shout out to Dustin Rhodes for me. That dude's been wrestling since like '85, and he's still wrestling. Mm-hmm. And he's he's still in good shape. Like he's still moving. I I remember when I was uh, I watched like an old Survivor series uh, when I first got the network, and I was just like, 
shit, what the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> this yeah, is like uh, this, this, where he was like dust, where he was like Dustin Rose, like no the, face paint at all. The, the natural Dustin Rhodes, yeah, he's wrestling with his dad. But yeah, man. So that that's um, gonna be funny. Uh, yeah. So we briefly went over the Archer thing, um, stuff. Actually, I think we went over everything. We're, yeah, uh, about other things in the quick hits. Uh, we asked them to snuck them in, but that was it. Yeah. The Lance Archer Sting thing, like, let's get a match announced. Let's just, like, get it on the way and then, like, have Lance Archer on the show. Hey, some win, before you know, we even do that, win. you saw what I posted in the Discord about Sting. Sting said, <laughs> oh, said Sting, yeah. Sting admits his body was in shambles after his comeback match. So, look, man, he's in, he's in shambles after uh, uh, Everybody dies. A, cin- a cinematic match. Everybody look, dies. I'm a, I'm a little concerned, man. If he, if he, if he wants to hurt in that... I'm I'm concerned for the cinematic match, and then I'm worried that Lance Archer might have to take the pin to this motherfucker. Yeah, that's worrying to me. But I don't know. Hopefully, they can absolutely, absolutely get this feud underway. Besides them just come, uh, him and Jake Roberts coming out when he's talking, and uh, Jake Roberts is like, "Hey, Stinger, hey, <laughs> come on," <out. laughs> and then leave. Hey. Can we get? Can we? Can we seriously get something more than that? Because we we're, we're literally gonna get it's the, it's the same shit that's going on with Team Taz. Which <laughs> no Team Taz this week. They were they, they were on the show. They had a little promo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it, was real, it was real brief. What, like what? Are, what, are, Taz, what are Taz, Taz was like, "Yo, are we all good?" And then uh, he was like, "Ricky, you good? Will Hop, you good? Hook, you good? Hook, Hook got a promo debut." And then, <laughs> said said a couple words. Yeah, he said a couple words. I, I don't know. I I definitely think that Team Taz is lost without Darby Allen now, which is the yeah, issue that you run into when you're feuding with somebody for goddamn four months and don't really do anything. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that, that's that, that's about it for AEW. We're we're gonna talk about just some big things that are happening uh, as WrestleMania weekend goes underway. So TakeOver is going to be two nights. We normally record on Tuesdays. I mean, uh, Thursday, Thursday. So we aren't going to have one large episode. We are going to give you two episodes. And they will, I think we should just, uh, one will release on Friday and the next one will release on the Monday. So you'll be getting the regular episode, but you'll be getting a bonus ep- uh, episode uh Monday. We had a big discussion whether or not AEW will be featured on these episodes because I think the show would be very long if, uh, well, if we include like three big shows. Because I plan on going over TakeOver in depth, like how we do for NXT, just something uh, a little different rather than how'd you feel about the pay per view and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, Um really depending on how AEW does during that week. I, I feel like AEW going to book a pretty strong card that Wednesday. So we might have to talk about it. I mean we'll see. I, look, I'm I'm will, I'm will, I'm will willing to, to sacrifice my time. Yeah, I I think we uh I, I dev me for sure I definitely for sure. I could use I, a I use a break from AEW. To really just give NXT all the attention since, you know, stuff is really happening Mania weekend. Good good luck trying to counter-program uh, and yeah. a, a takeover. So, be easy, uh, Cody Rose and the Elite family. But we'll see how that goes. But besides that, the A show this week, talking about Andrade leaving. Uh, sad to see Yo, you, go. You, you you want to talk about that real quick you know, you know i've been i've been thinking i've been listening to the a show recently and they, they've been they've been dipping their toes in our content a little a little bit <laughs> i've been noticing it they think i know they'd be, they be like oh we're gonna talk about it real quick and then go like 15 minutes on some shit we about to talk about i, I listen to the well, a show every it, week i know it's it's all love i'm just saying so you know what i mean like <laughs> later on we want to start talking about some main roster shit we can talk about some main roster shit i don't you know i mean? don't watch <laughs> well, I'll, I'll talk about it i'll, I'll, yeah, I'll no promo off you know what i mean but uh yeah we on we on your ass but um andrade leaving it's sad sad to see him go i hope alistair yeah. black comes back 
I definitely think that Andrade thinking that they were going to put him into the mix like during like mid build for Mania, uh, yeah. for Mania is kind of crazy. Like I know they did it for Rhea Ripley, but that that's an extreme emergency. Yeah, like Char- yeah, yeah. Uh, Charlotte, full Charlotte. on pregnancy, and someone had COVID. Like a whole yeah. bunch of shit had to happen for that to even get to that point. The raw, the raw women's division is already bad, and then you have two of those things happen back to back. Also, yeah. that match with Peyton Royce and Oscar, butt cheeks. See, look, look, look. I saw look. that. Look, I saw Whatever. that, and I cut Raw off. <laughs> Um, but happy, yeah, I hope y'all fuckers are happy. She got out there. She disappointed yeah, us all. She got a match. Um, serious, serious Peyton Royce. <laughs> but yeah, it's disappointing. It's one of those situations where, like, sometimes I think people often forget that this is a job, and sometimes jobs don't work for certain people. Like, it wasn't the right fit. I don't. Mm-hmm. Do I think maybe WWE could have, you know, quote unquote, booked him better? Yeah, sure. Um, I definitely but, don't think they gave him a lack of opportunity, though. Yeah, dude was on TV like every week. Um, but it's it just, sometimes shit just doesn't work out. I mean, think about it. This isn't the first time, you know, a talented wrestler was. I mean, it was definitely in the first time. It won't be the last time. I'm mean, like, we had people like, you know, what I mean, like Vader was in WWE. Like, Vader, one of the greatest big men of all time, and his WWE run was like literally a footnote. Nothing, nothing to it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. this happened, but then he went to Japan. He went to uh, you know, pro wrestling Noah and tore it up. If I had one of the best runs of his life in like 2000, so like, you know, I'm sure wherever Andrade goes, whether it be you know back to Mexico, Japan, or even AEW, he's gonna you know, he's definitely gonna show out because it's it definitely not due to lack of talent. It just sometimes you work at a place and it doesn't work out. You I, know I mean, they gave it a shot. I, I definitely see him coming back in the future. You think like, so? Like him and Zelina, like those are two people that I'm just like, I, I could definitely see them coming back in the future. As far as everybody saying um, Andrade come back to, a, uh, come, you know, come over to AEW, spare me. <laughs> no, do do not, don't, do not have my man's, uh, you know, just having, literally just having matches while the elite and the boys just, you know, run, you know, run the show. Like, Moxley lost both lost the title and then lost his title rematch and is still floating around the top of the card. Oh, we forgot to add um Moxley and and Kingston another promo. I didn't care. I, and, I, and, I, and, I, I skipped it. I don't care. Uh, I, I saw Eddie Kingston in a uh in a in an ankle ankle brace or whatever, you know, after Swaggerless. I told you the whole roster is swaggerless. Every single person on that roster is swaggerless. No sauce. But um <laughs> it it's whatever. Like this is gonna be a let's just move on. I would I would like I would like for the story to truly move on. But uh yeah, it is what it is. I miss I, I miss Andrade. Uh you could go see the rewriters room. They talk about Naomi. Uh, every everyone's favorite. What what is she what is she got a little mo, man? What if? Uh yeah, that's shout, about shout it. Out, shout out whoever did the the uh, rewrite the room theme song. Oh that's, yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard. <laughs> hey, we get uh, we we gotta get our theme soon. I, I'm I'm about to I'm about, I'm about to hit a wanna see what happens. Yeah, hit a wanna. <laughs> uh, I'm about to see if Nav could produce something for us. Dog, uh, I wouldn't even bad at that. <laughs> hey. I get a nav beat. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> I'm rapping over it. Look, I, I, I don't care if it sounds like the uh, the LeBron and uh, Two Chain shit. <laughs> it's from Nav, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, uh, that that's it from us. Uh, you can go check out Black Variant uh, on the RSC channel. You can check uh, check out RSPN. The lookout. The lookout. If you. I really wish I could tap into big eyes, but they be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen, and I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> Me, too. Me too. I, no, I, 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 I used to not care before, and I'd be like, yo, you know, I'm just listening to listen to it. Now I'm just like, I don't want to get spoiled. No. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, read, read Spy Family, read Chainsaw Man. Shout out to Jamal. He be putting me on uh, to all the great stuff. But that is it from us. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>